What's going on guys, Tony Avanov here with another video lesson and today I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to set up hotkeys on E-Trade Pro. I finally figured it out and now I know how to make them work perfectly. Um, I highly recommend using hotkeys with any type of trading, whether it's day trading, uh, you know, crypto trading, uh, you know, options trading, anything using hotkeys. Uh, it will save you a lot of time and headache. And especially I uh, will allow you to make more profits because um, you can just press one button and buy immediately you don't have to type in your order and do all that stuff uh, because you know when you're trading seconds matter and however you can uh, you know reduce the time that it takes to place a trade then you have a higher chance of making more money so we're gonna go right into that but first if you don't know every single day I give away $25 and it goes to a random commenter with their previous video lesson so we're gonna do that right now we had 240 unique commenters. Thank you all so so much for commenting. And if and if you want a chance to win, all you need to do is leave a like, leave a subscription, leave a comment down below, and you'll enter into the raffles. So the winner is what's up. He says he's worried now. JK JK, good video. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll copy that right now, and then I'll send that in just one second. So I'll be right back. So here is the $25 being sent and congratulations. So like I said, all you need to do is leave a comment, like and subscription and you'll enter a chance to win $25. So let's talk about uh, how to set up hotkeys. So I'm gonna get a new screen real fast and we just exit these out. So on eTrade Pro, this is mainly for eTrade Pro. Um, I do know that other platforms do have hotkeys uh, it might be the same exact way to set them up, but the menus might be different. So if you need a guide on those, just look up uh, whatever your platform is. I can only do mine on eTrade Pro because that's what I use. So first thing we need on eTrade Pro is, of course, the order entry. So we need to bring up that order entry. And uh, we also need to have our market depth. It will not work unless you have market depth open. You have to have market depth. Uh, the second thing you do is go to the menu, which is this button right here. Click that and press speed keys setup. Uh, they call it speed keys. Most people call it hot keys. Not that big of a difference. It's the same exact thing. Basically, you press one button and it sends a predefined order. So here are my hot keys. You can see I have around nine different hot keys that all do Kind of the same thing, but just a little bit modified. But basically, the first one it says buy 500 at uh, one cent above the ask using the automated routing system. A partial fill is okay. It's good till close, and then never just means uh, it never uses the local order ticket. So how I brought it up is I just clicked on the hotkey and pressed edit. If you do not have any hotkeys, you simply have to press add. So, um, I have mine routed to the uh, macro keys on my keyboard. So, this is the keyboard that I have. You do not need to have this keyboard um, to use hotkeys. You could simply use like F1, F2, F3, F4. But I'm using these buttons right here on the side. And I have these buttons programmed to be F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6. So that's why on eTrade Pro, it says that I'm using F1, F2, F3, and so forth. But I'm actually using G1, G2, G3, G4, and so forth. Um, that's just what I like to do because I have these uh, the custom keys here at the side. So I know I'm never going to press them on accident. And... Uh, I basically know like exactly what each one does because they only have one specific function. So basically I have buy 500, one cent above ask, and then I sell 500 at the bid. Um, unfortunately with eTrade Pro, you cannot go below the bid, but I have not found that to be a problem yet with my trading. And I basically just have the same exact type of uh, order entry just with different sizes. So one of the key things with eTrade Pro is that your hotkeys will not work if you do not have this used local order ticket set to never. Uh, by default, it's set to default, 
but if you do not send it to never, it will not work. I do not know why. Um, I don't know why they made it like this, but that's just a simple fact. Um, but you know, you can do almost anything you want. You can, you can place a stock order, you can place an option order, you can cancel all and so forth. You can do a buy, sell, short, cover. The quantity just means how many shares you want to trade. The term just means how long you want it to last. So if it says day, uh, the say that you you press your order and it doesn't become executed and you don't cancel it, it'll cancel automatically at the end of the day. If you put the D, if you put GTC, it means good to cancel. And these last two, I don't remember what they're. Uh, used for but I've never used them and I've never had any issues. Uh, the destination just means which, which route you want to use. Uh, just make that auto and then the price type bid, ask and so forth and then the price. And these ones you can use as you wish. So once you have all your hotkeys set up, second thing you need to do is use them, right? So you would think that all you need to do is just use a ticker like the QQQ and say that I press G1. Let me bring up my order status just so I can show. Um, let me bring up, okay, so right here, I'm gonna press G1. No order went through. Why didn't it go through? You have to press on the level two market depth and make sure that the ticker is highlighted. That's the only way it's gonna work because now if I press G1, you can see it sent through an order and it's not going to fill because uh, it's way too way too much money and I can't fill it. So quickly you have to, have to, have to, have to press on the level 2 and not only press on level 2 you have to make sure that the uh, ticker is highlighted because when it's not like, let me, like that, I don't think it's going to work. Oh no, it still works. So just make sure. Just in case, make sure that you have it highlighted because you don't want to run into any issues. So simply all I'm doing is pressing the key and instantly it sends through my order. So very, very useful. And you see that one's 500 shares. I'll do this one and it's going to be like 2,000 shares or 1,000 shares, I mean. And then this is 750. And so you can see you can do it very fast. You can buy and then sell immediately. So very 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 useful um, highly recommend you use hotkeys when you're trading it'll definitely make your trading a lot more accurate and uh, it'll prevent you from using market orders because with market orders as we know with our low float stocks um, you can get a very bad execution one that is very 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 high when you're buying or very 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 low when you're selling so just using the hotkeys allows you to be a lot more accurate with your executions and get the best price possible so hope this helped you guys uh, if it did leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts um and that's really it for today so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you all so much for watching